What's up guys, this is Shauna aka Mrs. Wealthy Wallet coming to you for another week. Now, I'm coming to you all with my final numbers for January, even though it's not the end of January because I've gotten my final paycheck for this month and I've made my final payments onto all of my different loans, credits, outstanding, so on and so forth for the month of January. So, you all stay tuned, you will not believe how much money we paid off. What's up guys? As you know, we did a no spend this month and basically what we did was we just did not go out, we did not go shopping, you know, all that kind of stuff. If we did go out, we used something like a gift card in order to pay for things, like if my husband went to some Starbucks, I had a gift card from Christmas time, I gave him the gift card so he can go to Starbucks. If we did not feel like cooking that day, I had a gift card to Steak and Shake, so we went to Steak and Shake that day and we had Steak and Shake. That is what we did during our no spend. We did make allotments for certain things. I made an allotment for three events and my husband made an allotment for one that I was a part of. My three events were book club, I had my hair straightened, and I had an event out with my girls. My husband's event was my sister-in-law's birthday. So I went along with him and we celebrated my sister-in-law's birthday. Now, what we also did during our no spend was we were trying to watch the grocery budget. Now, this was kind of a mm, iffy type thing. We only saved like $68 or something like that. I'll put it up here. Um, total after everything because of the fact that we had some subscribe and save stuff that came in and subscribe and save is Amazon's program where they can deliver household supplies to your house and those supplies that I ordered they last for multiple months so I can't really call it this month but the expenses came through this month and they won't come through for another two three months because it's things like lotion or the water filter that goes into my pure filter in the refrigerator because our water smells like chlorine we had stuff like that come in so i didn't have a lot of money saved as far as the grocery challenge went now as far as my personal account i did pretty well and i'm going to put the number up for you all to see now, that is pretty good for the personal account. I have not decided what I'm gonna do with it. Now, let me add a little bit more flavor into this. My husband received his bonus as well, and my husband did not wanna spend his entire bonus on paying bills. I know, I know guys, you all want us to pay them all off, get rid of them as soon as possible, but this was his wish. And so I do have another $250 that he wanted me to have for whatever I want and I'm trying to decide what I'm going to get I think because my work shoes are no longer effective my winter work shoes that I may just go ahead and give me some winter work shoes as well as um, my tennis shoes are starting to become really worn so I think I may replace my tennis shoes that is about it I have an idea for my office, but I'm not sure if I want to execute on, on it now or wait till we get some more money. Um, yeah, so we'll see where that goes. So with that added in, here is my new total. And that is what I am working with as far as my no spend. That is what it's led to. As far as our joint account, guys, this is where the fun comes in. Now, when we started off the year, we had Navient at $43,846.96. We had a personal loan, which is basically a car that was purchased for my stepdaughter at $5,295 even. We had an American Express bill of $3,697.48 a Chase bill of $950, a Capital One Venture bill of $154.39. That led to a total, guys, of $53,943.83. That is what I started off January 1 with. That's a lot of money, huh? I know it is. That is a lot of money. Got a little expensive there, guys. Um, the American Express Chase Bill is part of the repairs that we needed to have done to our sink that was leaking into our basement. The 950 is part of like uh, $1,300 or $1,400. That was the actual repair for the sink replacement, fixing the garbage disposal and the lines and all the leaks and everything. So that's what that is. The rest of it was Christmas. Come on. My husband's 
and the car um my husband wanted to get my stepdaughter a car wanted her to have one for at christmas time um she is partially registered in college partially in high school so he wanted her to have something so that she can drive to and from school um and that's what that's what it is guys that's what it is so um about a week or so ago my husband wound up getting his bonus and with his bonus he paid off the american express he paid down the car loan which is now a personal loan to him and i at the beginning of the month paid off my capital one venture with the leftover christmas money because that's what it was it was christmas expenses so now my navient is $42,638.56. The personal loan is $3,038.68. And the Chase loan is $8,069 even, leaving our bill at $46,546.24. Which makes the pay down total, guys. Are you ready? $7,397.59. Now this is not typical and you all know it. Like I said, there was a bonus mixed in here. So we are off to a good start. Unfortunately, we got off to a bad ending to 2017 by accumulating the debt in the first place. But we are off to a good start for this year. Now I have created a interest calculation slash principal pay down spreadsheet for each of the loans that are left. The one that's currently outstanding for Chase has 0% interest on it. So every payment that I make goes straight to the principal, no interest accruing. That's a plus. That will be paid off by July as well as the personal loan if we keep going on the same path that we're going on. Once we that is gone, we could take the $130 that we are paying towards those two bills and apply it to the Navient and therefore increase the amount that we are paying to Navient. <sighs> I am so looking forward to the day the Navient no longer exists, guys. I am, really, really. So I was telling my husband I was running the calculations and by May of 2019, the balance will be in the 17,000. I'm very excited for that. Now that doesn't include any tax returns, any extra bonuses that may come through, any merit increases, you know, because we are both due our merit increases. You know, it doesn't include any of that. So yeah, that is where I am. $7,000 paid in one month. It's a lot guys. How'd you all do this month? How was your no spend? Did you all um, participate in the no spend? You know, are you thinking about doing one to see how much money you can save slash pay down on debt? If so, let me know. I always want to hear from you all. You all know if you comment, I'm going to comment back. I'm going to thumbs it up. I'm going to talk to you. You know, that's just the way I am. So like, comment, and subscribe. And please do subscribe. And until next time, remember that the best type of the wallet to have is always going to be a wealthy one. Peace.